Percy the small engine was as usual, busy, but happy so. It was summertime, and that meant that there was lots to do. More passenger runs, more volunteers helping to load trucks, and overall, more work. He saw Daisy grumbling in her shed. Ah, hello Percy, just the engine I was looking for. What's your fitter advice you against today? Well. Funny you should ask, actually. You see... I'm sorry, Daisy, but we're all rushed off our feet. I'm too exhausted to help you. And anyway, don't you think it's about time you took some responsibility? I am a responsible engine! <laughs> you! Daisy glared crossly at Percy. No matter what he did, he couldn't stop laughing. He decided it was probably best to quickly leave. Right, well, <laughs> I'll be off. <laughs> Enjoy being responsible. <laughs> it can't hurt every once in a blue moon. <laughs> the next morning, Percy awoke feeling well rested. As he thought about his job for the day, he remembered his conversation with Daisy and started to giggle. Little Miss Swerve's responsible. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm a tender engine! <laughs> well, well, you're only awake now. No wonder that branch line doesn't run as efficiently as a main line. Efficiently? What's that? Asked Percy earnestly. Gordon was very amused by this. Hmm, <laughs> and as if that isn't proof of the problem. It or you have never been called that, I suppose. Well, I have you know that over on the main line, it's a different story. No late trains or angry passengers, an efficient railway is of great importance. What would the fat controller do without me to run things smoothly? Oh, and we do nothing, I suppose. Well, you and Henry do your best, but I'm the only one keeping a responsible eye on things. It's not a responsibility that any old engine can have. As if. The only thing you keep an eye on is your express train. And even then, me and Henry have to take of countless times. That, my dear engine, would be called charity. And you shouldn't be bragging about it. Puh! Said James as he puffed off to take his first train. At least I'm doing work. I wish I could go flying down the main line with the express, said Percy a little louder than he had intended. <laughs> yes, well, but it takes three of your little engines to pull it, which is all about you can do. If I had big wheels, I could do it. I think you'll find there's more to it than that. Oh, really? Said Percy as he went to leave the sheds, but nothing happened. Well, go on then. I can't. We don't have enough water for the steam, I'm afraid, called Percy's driver. <laughs> well, that worked out well for you, didn't it? I suppose I'll push you to the water tower then. Yes, yes, please, Percy shamefully said. When he was at the tower, he had a nice long drink until his steam pressure had risen nicely. Then Percy puffed out of the way whilst the final checks were made on him. Right, my turn. Announced Gordon, and then it's off to be the pride of the line. But when he tried to move, he soon found out that he couldn't. Come on, Gordon, no time for dawdling. Don't you have an express to keep your eye on? <laughs> Just a second! <laughs> Gordon fiercely groaned. I can't move! I've got cramp! I can't move my pistons! Gordon's driver got out the cab to see what was wrong. Jam the valves, I reckon, he said, and went to find an inspector. <laughs> now that's not very responsible, is it, Gordon? Children Percy. I suppose I'll have to keep an eye on things and get you out of trouble, he teased, 
as he slowly puffed up to Gordon's front. Puffing hard, he managed to push Gordon back into the shed. Then he puffed off to the branch line, without saying a word. There was no need to. They both knew what the other was thinking. Later that day, unknown to Daisy, Percy saw her putting some old dirty vans. With a grimace, she stopped them in the correct place. Thank goodness that's her though, she said, hoping someone had seen her efforts. Percy was impressed, and was about to congratulate her, when someone else beat him to it. Hello, Daisy! Thank you for doing such an excellent job. I hope you come to visit here more often. Daisy hoped that she wouldn't, but smiled anyway, proud of her praise. Percy whistled over. Well, Daisy, you have proven me wrong. You really are a responsible, reliable engine. As Percy came up to the sheds that night, Gordon smiled. You know, all this morning's talk of responsibility has taught me what the most important one is. Percy got ready for the accusation. We engines must stick together. And that means that no matter what happens, we must be prepared to help each other out. Percy smiled his widest smile. He couldn't agree more. <laughs>